Israel is here because the God of Abraham keeps his covenants. In synagogues, in synagogues all over the world just last week, they read the words, the prophet Isaiah, comfort, oh comfort my people, says your God. Who will stand with Israel? Who will stand with the Jewish people? So they know exactly who to condemn later, who the target is. Let them know this, condemn me, target me. I will stand with Israel. I will stand with the Jewish people. And if they want to round all of us up again, I will proudly raise my hand and say, take me first. Libya? Syria? North Korea? No, no. They will condemn Israel. Tiny Israel. Democratic Israel. Free Israel. Israel which values human life above all other things. As usual, Israel is the exception. The only message that I have for Israel and the Israelis is this. My friends, do not lose hope. You must not lose confidence in yourself you must have courage. You must draw courage from the knowledge, from the knowledge that you were led to this land by God. And in the affairs of mankind, God is not a stranger to the children of Abraham. For 2,000 years, you stood watch. You held on to this promise. And we have seen this promise fulfilled. Israel, we have witnessed the dawn of your redemption. We live in an age of man-made technological miracles. But these are the divine days of divine miracles. I have been asked by the press over and over again, what is it you think you can teach Israel about courage? My answer is simple, nothing. In Israel, you see courage. In Israel, in Israel, there is more courage in one small square mile than in all of Europe. In Israel, you can find people who will stand against incredible odds, against the entire tide of global opinion, just because it's right, just because it's good, and just because it's true. Everything we know about human rights and real civilization came from this place, this land. Whether you live by 613 commandments, 10 commandments, or just one sweet golden rule, it all started here. I ask you today, no matter where you are, if you are sitting here if you are just a few miles away where thousands are gathered, or if you are on the other side of the planet watching alone in your home, I ask you today to link arms with me, link arms with others, link arms, stand with courage, and walk behind the pillar of fire.